All right, it's time to edit the MyRio update ports state. And this way we can operate the MyRio LED indicators. I'll begin by finding the sub diagram for MyRio update ports. I want to keep much of this existing behavior, but I just need to rearrange the two pieces. I'm gonna move this to the right and the other piece I will move to the left. Give me just a second here. All right, again, the behavior is essentially identical. I've just flipped around the order. All right, let's grab some values from the data highway. I'll need both diameter in millimeters and then diameter in pixels. Because diameter in pixels is an integer value, and especially when the diameter goes to zero, it tells us that there is no coin present. I will use this to drive LED zero. This way, if diameter in pixels is greater than zero, LED zero goes on. I will leave LEDs one through three connected and then use a comparison with the measured diameter in millimeters against a front panel control which indicates our threshold for what's considered to be a large coin. Let me create the control right here. Double click it to see it on the front panel. Then update the name. I'll call this large coin threshold in millimeters. Let me move stuff around a little bit and get that into the right location. All right, let me shove that to the left a little bit so we can see the label properly. And now when the measured diameter exceeds that large coin threshold, then all three of those LEDs will go on. This comment indicating that behavior, that's still in force. Let me change the comment here to reflect this new behavior. Again, LED zero indicates whether or not a coin is present. LEDs one through three indicate when the coin is larger than our user set threshold.